Alexa, turn TV on. Hey guys, this is Caroline, and if you've been watching my channel, I've done a bunch of videos about the Amazon Echo, the Alexa, right here, and a bunch of you guys have asked me, hey, how do I turn on and off my TV with the Alexa? And I did some research about it, and the answer is you need a Harmony remote and hub. So I just bought this. I got this as the deal of the day. It is called the Harmony Ultimate. I will link to it below, and it is a remote and a hub, and I checked all the compatibility, so my TV's compatible. So I'm gonna go through a full setup of this with the Amazon Alexa. Let's start with the unboxing and here we are we've got the remote we've got the base for the remote and we've got the harmony hub hold this up right here you'll see what's underneath so there are two power cords right here one for the base of the remote one for the hub we've got uh, the package of instructions here so this is the setup guide and then we have uh, two ir mini blasters Right here you set up on each side of your entertainment system and one micro USB cable. So now I'm going to set this up with my TV. I've plugged in everything. The Harmony hub is right here. The two mini IR blasters on either side of my TV. And I've got my Harmony remote on its base right here. Everything's plugged in. Next we will download the app and get started. First thing we need to do is go to the Play Store and look for the Harmony app and I've already installed it, but if you're doing this for the first time, you would install the app, and then you would come back to the screen, and then you would hit open. And I wanna set up a new hub, and I wanna allow the lo location. It says connect hub to power outlet and wait for 30 seconds. All right, so let's see if this is connecting here. And now it's scanning for a Wi-Fi network. Now it's connecting to the hub. Uh, so now I need a software update to my remote. I'll use the micro USB cord that came with the remote and the package to go do that. I've just plugged in my Harmony remote and I'm going to go to myharmony.com. Welcome to Harmony Sign In Setup. And I've got the ultimate home because I see the picture of the remote and the hub here. And I'm going to download the software. Accept and download. Download is complete. Installing the software now. And my installation is complete. Click close. I am launching my Harmony app. Right here, I've just installed it on my computer. And I need to sign up now. Let's create an account. I'm typing in my information to create an account. Here we go, logging in again. Yay, I have successfully logged in and it's giving me a little tour of my Harmony Ultimate right here. And now I will accept and continue terms and conditions. And now I need to give my Harmony a name. I think I'm gonna go for living room. And now I'm scanning for Wi-Fi networks again. I'll select my Wi-Fi network. And I will now get my software update. I'm also being asked to confirm my email address, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on my phone while I'm waiting for the software update. Now I can continue my setup on mobile or on the computer. I'm going to choose mobile because there are more options. Next I need to disconnect my remote from the computer and set it back on the cradle. I've just completed the PC software upgrade of my remote, so to put my remote back into the cradle and continue the setup. Starting my Harmony app again. I selected living room. Now I need to log in again. Log in and now I'm connecting.
and now we're updating my account. Now it wants to get to know my Harmony Ultimate. All right, all right, info, okay. So copy existing, I do not already own a Harmony Remote, so I'm gonna set up new. And it said it found a Roku 3. Next. Okay, now I can add additional devices. Add device. And I wanna add an entertainment device. Put in my model number of my TV. Ah, and sure enough, it added it. Now I need to add my receiver. Press the sys info button. Press and hold the set button until the mode buttons light up. Press number one. Press the pound button. Wait for the set button to stop blinking. Press the record button. And press the select button to exit system information screen. And it says it's added. All right, excellent. So I've got my Roku, my TV, and my DVR added. All right, excellent. So these are my devices. And now I need to test my devices. All right, I just turned my TV off. Turn it back on again. And my Dish Network, I'm gonna turn it off. Yep, it just went off. Turn it back on again. And then the TV's coming back on. So I've, I've, I've tested the TV and the Dish Network and they both work. Yay, okay. <laughs> a little bit nervous about that. <laughs> okay, let's create a watch activity. Now I'm gonna mute my TV here. And my devices are on. When your TV switches input, does it skip unused inputs? No, it does not. Select the input that your TV is currently on. Select HDMI 3. Input settings. Are you able to see and hear the content coming from your Dish Network DVR? Yes. All right, let's test now. Watch TV. Syncing my changes. Turning off. Sure enough, everything goes off. And then turn on. And, okay, I think it's coming on now. I think it's working now. Yes, my TV just came on and my receiver just came on. Did my watch TV activity turn on correctly? And I'm gonna say, yes. And now I'm gonna set up my favorite channels. Okay, next. I just typed in my zip code and it retrieves all the providers in my area. I selected my provider and hit next. So I put in a few of my favorite channels now, and I'm gonna select next, saving favorites, S set starting channel for watch TV. Oh, okay, I can set my starting channel, which would be 46. And that's my activities, watch TV. When I turn on the TV, now it's going to turn it on and uh, go to channel 46. All right, so you can add more activities. My setup is complete. And when I hit exit setup, is it so now let's move on to Amazon Echo so here is my Amazon Echo dot and I'm going to now set up my Alexa with my harmony so I'm gonna go to my Amazon Alexa companion app and I'm going to go to skills and I'm going to search for harmony when the harmony skill comes up I'm gonna select the first one I'm going to enable Harmony. Sign in. And I'm going to authorize. Selecting my activity. Watch TV is the activity I set up. And these are the channels I've set up. And I can add a friendly name and then select TV favorites. Done that. 
And now for the fun part, oh in a few moments I'll be able to say, um, turn on the TV. Okay, so I'm gonna hit link account and I can close the window. To discover smart home devices on Amazon Echo, I'm gonna let it discover devices. Alexa, turn TV on. Okay. Oh, here it is. And sure enough, it is. So, Alexa, change the channel to channel 11. Okay. Oh, and sure enough, the channel now changes to channel 11. Alexa, change the channel to TBS. Okay. And uh, hopefully you can see this. I guess I can move this up a little bit better. Alexa, turn TV off. Okay. Oh, there it is. So uh, there it is. I, I'm done with the initial setup of my Harmony remote. There's bunch of other stuff I can do with it and I can do that in a later video if you guys are interested but uh, you know to answer the question hey how do you turn off and on your TV now that I've gone through this whole setup now we know Harmony <laughs> so Harmony Hub ultimate remote uh, I'll link to it below uh, so let's let's try this again Alexa turn TV on Alexa, change channel to TBS. Okay. Alexa, change channel to two. Okay. Alexa, turn TV off. So hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video of the Harmony Ultimate Hub and Remote. And please subscribe. Bye. See you next time.